Greetings, Internet people. You're tuned into the Keep It Real RN channel. My name is Craig, and I'll be your host. Now, today I'm going to do a remake of the ever popular What's in Your Nursing Bag video. And the reason that I need to redo it is because the first time that I did it, about halfway through the video, I pull out my name tag out of my bag that contains my name and my company's name and logo. Now, I really couldn't care less that my name is out there for half a video. However, I do not want my company's logo nor the name of my company associated with my videos because I offer this disclaimer that all opinions expressed here on the Keep It Real RN channel are my own and are no way reflective nor are they endorsed by my employer. So be that as it may. This particular bag has been my nursing bag for a few years now. And it was given to me when I had my five year anniversary at my current employer, which was a very nice five year anniversary gift because this is a very heavy duty backpack. It is a Swiss gear backpack that has a lot of compartments and a lot of pockets. And it's pretty roomy and it's pretty heavy duty and it's comfortable to carry around. Now in the main compartment, I will usually put my thermal, uh, my thermal uh, lunch box because I bring a lot of snacks to work uh, because you, a lot of times you can't get out and get food in a timely manner and sometimes I just need to duck into the kitchen and get a quick snack. So I like to have plenty of stuff with me. In the main compartment, I also carry my iPad, which I usually will use on my break because I like to keep abreast of the stock market, especially if I'm working days and how my stocks and mutual funds and investments are doing. In fact, I'm going to do a whole nother video on uh, investments and 403Bs and 401Ks and all that good stuff, so stay tuned. Also, in the main compartment, I also carry a notebook. And this notebook isn't used for anything in particular. I just use it to write down random thoughts and things I want to remember and uh, various and sundry uh, random stuff. In uh, the other pocket, I have some cue cards. Some of these things are cue cards that have been given to me or like when Jayco comes, you know, if Jayco asks you a question, you can refer to your cue card. Uh, random uh, index cards with stuff written on them that I probably haven't looked at for years. And the one thing that I have in here that has come in handy periodically is I have like a little, little uh, mini book on pediatric heart surgery. And I used to work in a pediatric cardiovascular ICU and uh, all of those different congenital defects and stuff like that, uh, I would need to refresh my memory on what they were all about periodically. So that's the main compartment. Like I said, it's, it's very roomy and I can fit a lunchbox in there. Okay. On the side pockets here, I have, uh, I carry a um, padlock. You might be asking me, why do you carry a padlock? Well, on those occasions when you float to another unit, sometimes there are available lockers that don't have locks on them. And so if you want to store some valuables, it's kind of nice to have a place to lock them up. I also have a hairbrush in the other pocket from back in the day when I used to have long hair. If you watch some of my earlier videos, you can see that my hair was down to here at one time. And uh, it's a little more high maintenance and you have to brush it periodically to keep it looking decent. Um, let's see. Okay, the very front pocket or the very front compartment is where I carry some of my nursing tools. Now, I carry my, I have two stethoscopes that I carry. I have an adult Littman Cardiology 2, if I can get it out of there, that I've had ever since I started my career way back when. Okay, this is, this is, this is been the, uh, uh, 
gold standard for stethoscopes for many years. It is still a very, very good stethoscope. And if you're in the market for buying a stethoscope, I would recommend uh, spending a hundred bucks or so and getting yourself a Cardiology 3 because you'll be eternally happy. I've been eternally happy with it for many, 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 many years. I also have a Littman uh, pediatric stethoscope that I used uh, when I worked in the pediatric heart unit and it still comes in handy every now and then. I do make an appearance on uh, pediatric units every now and then. And I also, I don't know why I carry this, but I uh, teach the intra-aortic balloon pump class at my current employer and uh, I was given a show-and-tell balloon pump catheter. This is the high-tech balloon pump catheter that has the fiber optic um, capabilities. And I stuck it in my backpack the day somebody gave it to me and it's been there ever since. So I'm armed if I ever need <laughs> to have a balloon pump catheter for show-and-tell. I have one. And believe it or not, it has come in handy before. All right, and uh, there is another compartment behind this compartment that I carry my personal care items. Um, I've got a big bottle of antacid. It is absolutely necessary because I have gastroesophageal reflux disorder. And so when my esophagus is on fire, it's nice to have something to put the fire out. I also carry lens cleaner and a microfiber cloth. And the reason for that is because one of the things that makes me absolutely insane is to have a smudge on my glasses. So I like to keep my glasses nice and clean. Um, in one of the little pockets here, I carry a magnifying glass. And the reason I carry this magnifying glass, and I've had this magnifying glass since I was a kid. The reason I carry this magnifying glass is because there's been a couple occasions where I have forgotten my glasses. Now, I'm not blind as a bat. I really, uh, I can see distances just fine, but I can't, I can't see my hand in front of my face. So it is entirely possible for me to forget my glasses because I don't need them for driving or anything. And once I get to work, I can't read a blooming thing. So having been in that situation a couple of times, I decided that I would carry my um, magnifying glass so that I could read the writing on these little vials. That is absolutely microscopic. Uh, let's see. I also carry some tools with me. Um, I have a red and a black pen, and I can't live without my red and black pen because when I'm taking a report, if I feel the need to jot any notes down, any notes that are anything that I want to remember that's been told to me by somebody else, I write it in black. Anything that I want to remember that I have discovered on my own, I write it on red. I also carry a, uh, have a carp eject. You never know when you're going to need those. You need them quite often. I also have a Kelly clamp and uh, this is kind of funny because I remember back in the day there was an Indian doctor and uh, we were doing a procedure and he says to me, he goes, hand me the Kelly clamp. I hear what? Hand me the Kelly clamp. So every, every, ever since then, every time I look at a Kelly clamp, I think of a Kelly clamp. Okay, so this is the killer clip, and then it ha I also have a uh, spare PCA key on here, just in case I lose my main one, because uh, especially if you're in a surgical unit, everybody has a PCA. I also carry my calipers, and I've had these calipers ever since the beginning of time, too, and I'm not sure if people even use calipers anymore because most uh, modern monitoring equipment has e-calipers. I know the ones that we have where I work, we have Philips, it has e-calipers so you can do it right on the monitor. However, sometimes it's kind of nice just to have a pair of calipers to help you diagnose a rhythm. And I've had this since the beginning of time and it's actually quite, uh, I have uh, Oh, what's the heck's the word I'm trying to think of? It's sentimental to me, I guess. 
Um, let's see. There's a little pocket in here, and sometimes, sometimes there's something in there, and sometimes there's not. There used to be something in there, but there isn't anymore. I also carry this. Now you're going to be asking me, what the heck is that? All right, what this is, this is a wire that has a phone plug on one end, and it's been cut off on the other. And what this is, this is a cord that was attached to a thermal capable, capable Foley catheter. So the Foley catheters we have where I work have these uh, temperature probes on the end of it, and they plug into our little digital readout for the Foley catheter bag, as it were, and you get a continuous readout of the temperature. However, when we transfer patients out to the floor, they don't have those capabilities, so what they do is they cut this wire off of the catheter and throw it away. And one thing I discovered was what this came in handy for was that in one of the units that I worked in, they had Bose Acoustic Wave CD player radios in all of the rooms. And Bose Acoustic Wave CD players radios are very, very nice. And I guess uh, before my time, some uh, a patient or a family member was uh, very appreciative of the care that they received there and what they did was they donated a Bose acoustic wave for every room in the unit. And so, um, the one thing that uh, is unfortunate in that unit is that you're only able to pick up two radio stations. One of them is classic rock, one of them is country. The classic rock station plays the same 40 songs over and over and over again. And the same, or the country station plays the same tunes, the same 40 tunes over and over and over again. So one thing I discovered was that the antenna input on the radio was this kind of a plug. And so being the MacGyver that I am, I took this piece of wire that was cut off of somebody's Foley catheter and plugged it in. And lo and behold, it allowed me to pick up many, many more stations which is kind of nice because sometimes you know you're you're giving your intubated sedated sedated patient a bath and sometimes you just feel the need to rock out while you're giving that bath anyway so that is everything that's in my nursing bag so please rate this video and leave a comment below if you really like this video share it with your friends in fact Share it with your friends, even if you think it sucks. Hit that subscribe button up there and join us as a passenger on the Keep It Real RN Express. So until next time, keep it real.